Hi, in this video, we're gonna learn how to test a Node.js application. So why do we use uh, automated testing framework? Because whenever your project becomes uh, scalable in size, or whenever like uh, a new developer comes to your project and if they add some new features and they want to see that the uh, whole project is uh, not break out, so they can just uh, simply run their testing suite and they can see that uh, they haven't broke out. So that's why we are using testing framework for many purposes like refactoring a code. Maybe when you have refactored some code in your project and and this and you can see that your features that we have added new feature that is not like break. So we are gonna use in here the JSTS.io uh, I mean just just uh, framework in here. So in here we are just gonna in how to install this just JS. So in here just uh, use npm install test test save test dev just because we are gonna use this uh, framework in just our uh, development purpose. So we have installed it as their dependency in here. And also I have added a test script in here because we're gonna uh, uh, run it as a test suite so uh, we're gonna use npm test in here and let's see what happened so we we see that uh, they have checked all the files but uh, they can't no test found so yeah we're gonna just create a new test folder i have also created i have created the test folder in here and you're gonna just uh, create a new file and let's say give a name math.test.js one thing to remember that you have to give the dot test extension in here because that's how the jest will see that uh, you have added one file one test file and that you and that the jest will uh, run here so globally the the jest framework is not required here to like uh, like we have to use const jest jest and require it from the jest for our library where it's uh, it's globally so in here the jest provides one function and uh, its name is test function which is a global so in here it requires two arguments. First argument is a string. A string is the name of the feature that you have added. You can give any name in it. And second argument is a callback function or just as a function which will run, uh, which will check that your test is running or not. So in here just say for introduction part, let's say hello world. That's our name of, uh, it's uh, just an introduction. So in here I'm going to simply run this with a blank in the nothing there. So if you run this, uh, we are gonna see that it passes the test. But uh, there is nothing here, so it passes anything there because it is not throwing any error from here. So let's say I'm going to see how can we throw an error. We know that we can throw an error through throw new error and let's say a failure and if we just run this file we're gonna see that it throws an error that's because it's seeing that it throwing an error so it will throw an error yeah so now i'm going to just simply create a new file in here and in uh, uh, file in here and let's say the file name is matt JS because that's how we're gonna uh, we're gonna just uh, export the file from here to mat.test.js so that it will run from here and see here so in here we're gonna just uh, simply create a new fu uh, new function let's say tape total tape total tape uh, we are just uh, calculating a tape only oh, that's fine so let's say proper name calc 
calc total t so it passes how much argument from here so uh, first argument will be total and second argument will be the t percent so the const tip will be what tip will be total multiply with uh, t percent so in here what we are passing t percent will be as a like if it is a 30 percent means 0 0.3 that's what i'm passing here from here and what we, it will return it will return a total plus t now we are gonna just export from here so let's say module dot export module dot export calc total tip and in here i'm just going to require it from the math.js and where from i'm going to require just say math equal to uh, require from require from dot dot slash math yeah so in here uh, i'm going to create a new test file i'm going to remove this one there is no need for this one. so i'm going to what to calculate so search calculate search calculate total total tape yeah and now i'm gonna just uh, create a new const total that's that what it's returning the math or the calc total tip function in here we're gonna just give the total let's say 10 and the uh, 0.3 so yeah so what it will return if total is not is equal to let's say is equal to what it will be what point one point three is the answer of this as we know it so in here if it is not equal to one point three so it will give an error so just throw an error here throw a new error throw a new error just say like um, should be uh, total would be total should be total should be 1.3 but cut total now let's see just run it and we're gonna see what happens so if we just npm test you can see in here that uh, it passes the test suite test cases yeah you can see that it passes the test cases now if we just like uh, give or uh, in the math.js uh, if we just um, do something wrong like um, we are gonna use plus tip in here once uh, so if we just add one plus tip in here and we just run here we can see it has been failed because total should be 13 but got 16 so it it is running and you can see the total is 16 in here that's why it's giving an error but uh, uh, you can see that we have to use some um, own on code in here so we can also use that what uh, assert something in here that just JS provides in here so in our in the guide there is something called expect which our which just provides in here so we're going to use expect value in here so we don't have to use this for uh, this one 
in it. We can simply use expect. Expect what? Expect 13. And after that, we're going to use this value to be. So how can we use this? So this is what it is using that uh, expect total. If we just use our English sentence here, that what we are expect, expect total to be to be what to be thirteen. So if we just run it, and we can see in here that it failed. That's because we expected 13 but we received 16. So that's how it's been done. So but just uh, one line of code we can see that what is given here here. So if we just uh, correct out this mistake in that we have done here and just run it. We can see that it has been passed from from the test suite. So this how we in the docs there are many useful uh, methods that is being used in the JEST framework, and this all, this can be helpful. Like uh, you can see that if we to be null, yeah, we can use a to be null file to be null method, and to throw any error matching synapse out. So that's so that's how it's been done. So now if we just like uh, do something like when we are just not passing t percentage something in here. So what it will be to so let's say if we, we don't as a default argument. Let's say we are using point two as default argument. Now we have to make uh, another test suite in here. So in here it should calculate should calculate total tip with default tip percent. So now so now what to do so now it will just we are going to const total and we're going to use math and we're going to pass 10 and just 10 in here and what we expect we expect total to be 12 yeah that's what we want in here so if we just run it and pim test we can see that all the test cases has been passed so yeah that's how we do the this is the introduction of the test so that's how we do so it's been used because it helps to like collaborate uh, whenever like we are uh, using a new framework so it's very helpful for us so yeah, thank you.